My hair is an absolute mess today, but y'all are gonna have to deal with it, okay? I understand it looks like birds are living inside this shit, but it's all good. We're friendly with the birds and the nature around here, okay? Okay. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest way to get your music videos on Vivo, Tidal, Amazon, and Apple Music. DistroKid recently launched a new feature called DistroVid. So I'm gonna go over all the features that it has, give you guys a little tutorial on how to do it, as well as a little pros and cons list that I've come up with for both the team at DistroKid and just for you guys to keep in mind. First of all, it's only $99 a year, which translates to $8.25 roughly per month. And you can upload unlimited music videos. And if you have a bunch that you've already put on YouTube before, but they're not on these platforms, then this is really great. You can just go ahead and upload them right away. They also allow you to upload in high definition. So if you got 4K 60 FPS videos, then this allows that. You also get to keep 100% of the streams that come from your music videos which if you didn't already know, streams of your music videos on these platforms when you distribute through DistroVid end up counting as real streams, as if they were just streaming your song. Versus if you have like a YouTube channel that's really small and hasn't gotten a thousand subscribers as well as 4,000 watch hours yet, you can't monetize until you get those, right? But doing it through this allows you to get monetization immediately. One of the platforms you can distribute to, as I said before, is Vivo, which on their network, they have a bunch of cool places that you can actually get your music videos sent to. Places like Roku, Samsung and LG smart TVs, Comcast, and just a bunch of other stuff. You can also set a release date. So if you have a day for this to drop, then you can set it. And it should only take a couple of days to maybe a couple of weeks for your video to go live. So just make sure you plan accordingly if you have a video coming up. As you can see here, I got all my music videos uploaded already. It's kind of sad that I only have five. Like I definitely want more than this, but I really want high quality, man. You know, I don't have the bag like that. You know what I mean? If you're not already a DistroKid member and you're going to use this service, make sure you sign up using my link at the top of the description. It'll save you 7% on your first year, which their prices start at just $20 a year, which is crazy. And it'll show a little bit of support to me, which I'll really appreciate. But with that said, if you're already a member, go on to DistroKid, Click goodies, go under promote yourself and DistroVid is right there. It'll take you to this spot and then you just click upload video. Choose all the platforms that you wanna go on. Type in your artist name here. If it was previously released, just choose yes and then the original release date down here. Otherwise click no and then put in the date you want it to be scheduled for. Record label, if you have one, I just put sounds in 17 for everything. Then language of the song primary and secondary genre, song title, which it clearly says here, just put the title, no features or any of the other information here. Then down here, you can click, yes, you'd like to add a feature if there is one. If the song is also a remix, you can change this to remixer. If this is footage from a live performance, you can actually upload that as well. You just choose yes. Then you can choose where it was and then go ahead and just upload the live performance. So I went ahead and chose the long night music video just as an example. Just underneath the preview here, it's gonna allow you to choose a thumbnail based off of the timestamp of the video. This is a little bit annoying and I'm gonna touch on that in a minute, but for now, if you just wanna scrub through this and just pick a random frame, like that's 56 seconds, you can go ahead and just scroll, click 56, and that's the thumbnail it's gonna choose. Put in the songwriter credits here. If somebody other than yourself shot this and you wanna credit the director, just click yes under additional credits change this to director and then put the names there. You can do that for all of these things as well. Explicit lyrics, yes or no. If you somehow distributed music to Vivo at some other point and you already have a channel, you can click yes and then type the name of it here. For some reason it made my Vivo channel MMX VII Vivo all one word, which just looks hella confusing. I don't know why they didn't put a space in between, but it is what it is. Then same goes down here for Apple Music, which you probably already have your music on Apple Music by now. So make sure you just paste the link to your profile there. Check all these boxes, click done, and you should be good to go. Now, Apple Music is a little bit picky when it comes to taking music videos. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description about their rules if you wanna go ahead and read up on them. Odds are your music video is probably fine. But one thing that actually got my music videos rejected in the first place was I had some credits at the end that basically just rolled in and said, out now and then like promoted my album with like, you know, other platforms you could listen to it on. There's probably two reasons for this. One, they don't want you to go to other platforms to stream the song, right? If I'm putting a bunch of icons, like go stream it here, like, of course they're not gonna like that. And two, I assume a lot of the verification for these videos is done by some sort of AI. So it's just reading text. And if it sees a lot of text, it might just assume, oh, it's trying to promote something. And just up here, you can also see there's a list of rules here as well. So no lyric videos, like that's just a given. And I think this may also cause a problem if you have a bunch of lyrics going across the bottom of the screen the whole time. It might be fine if you throw up one or two, but if you got lyrics going the whole time, it's just gonna cause you an issue. Now, like I said, I wrote up a little pros and cons list because there are some things that are really great about it and some things that just aren't. So starting with the pros, you got instant monetization, which I kind of spoke on a little bit before. If say you're trying to upload to YouTube, you're not getting paid for the streams, but if you upload to Vivo, they're gonna make an official Vivo channel and you can actually promote 
through that channel and get stream revenue. If you have an official artist channel like me, they do allow you to actually merge your Vivo channel with the official artist channel. If you don't know how to get one, I'm gonna leave a video in the top right corner. This means that every time you upload to Vivo, essentially, it's gonna put it on your official artist channel instead of a separate Vivo channel. So you will be getting paid from the streams on that video. But the difference here is that you uploaded it through DistroVid and you don't really have access to stuff versus when you upload it yourself, you can like, of course, edit the bio and all that kind of stuff. The second thing is you get more exposure. Of course, having your music video in more spots is just gonna promote it more. The more people see your image along with your music, it's just a great connection overall. If a lot of people are going to stream your music anyway, it's good to have your music video available for them to just check out. Vivo apparently also offers promotion for your music videos. I did a quick little Google search, does Vivo promote your music videos? And down here on their official site, it says artists who host their videos on Vivo are eligible for promotion of videos across the Vivo network, both on and off YouTube. Again, you're gonna need to have access to Vivo for artists in order to do this. So I might make a follow-up video on getting access to your Vivo for artists, because right now you actually have to contact them individually through their little contact form on their site in order to get access to this and then just wait for an email back. Having your music videos on more spots is just a more professional look on your brand as well, because when you have your stuff in multiple places on multiple platforms and just very clean and concise everywhere, it makes you look like you have your shit together. You know what I mean? And lastly, it's affordable and easy now with DistroVid. So before it was a lot more difficult to try to get access and put them on these platforms individually, but now it's just super easy and cheap. So, I mean, it's kind of worth it. Now onto the cons, there's no true custom thumbnails. Like I said before, you can choose a timestamp that you want, but that's never gonna be the exact thumbnail that you say created in Photoshop or like a screenshot that you made. Now, one workaround would be to set the very first frame of your music video to the thumbnail that you want and then set the thumbnail time to zero, zero. That way it'll select the very, very first frame of the video. But I honestly really wish there was a way you could just upload your own thumbnail image. Like I don't see why that's a problem. Like why isn't that a thing? You can see here when I search woke up, the main music video from two years ago shows up first. But if you scroll down just a little bit, here's my little Vivo channel. It is nice to see these little black bars and the Vivo logo in the corner because it does look pretty professional and just enticing. But of course the music video page itself just doesn't look very legit. You might be able to change this once you get access to Vivo for Artists, but off rip, it just really doesn't look good. But one of the annoying things about choosing a thumbnail image from a timestamp is it doesn't actually take the thumbnail and add black bars and a logo on it. It squishes the image from that timestamp down. So that's how those black bars got there. Like this image is just squashed. It looks so weird. So yeah, I don't really like that. I wish I could just choose my own thumbnail, but it is what it is. Another annoying thing is that you can't actually add or remove your music video from a specific platform individually. So for example, if you put it on Vivo and you realize, ah, oh, I don't want it on Vivo, but I want it on the rest of these platforms, you actually have to take down the whole music video from all of them and then re-upload it. Now they may update and change that later, but right now that's a little bit annoying. I'm sure if you delete it off these platforms and then re-upload it just instantly, there will be an overlap time and you won't even notice a difference. Like it'll probably just be there the whole time. But still that is just a tedious little annoying thing. I'm pretty sure you can upload to each platform individually as well. For example, all these music videos except for Woke Up got uploaded to every platform except Vivo. But if I clicked upload and I wanted to re-upload these music videos to just Vivo, it would actually put a second version of it in here, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And the last con is that you can't actually schedule the time. Now you can schedule the day, but it's just gonna drop on that day. I'm not sure if it's gonna schedule for the first time zone to hit that day, or if it's gonna schedule for like New York time or something. Either way, it's gonna drop at a midnight somewhere, which it would be really nice to schedule it for a certain point in the day as well. Because for me, I found a lot more success when my music videos drop at like, 12 or two in the afternoon when people are actually on the app. If it drops at midnight, it just looks like it got, you know, 10 views in 12 hours and like people aren't liking it or seeing it versus when I drop it and I can get a lot more people who are active to see it, it just works out better. A couple other ideas that I had to improve this as well is here when you upload your music videos, it'll say like processing. Then after a couple of hours, it'll say sent to streaming services. Now I think the reason this says sent to streaming services is because DistroKid verified it and then sent it to them. But I'm not sure if this is even analyzing if it's on the platforms or not. It would be nice if this could tell us like this is verified or 
this is uploaded to all plats successfully or something in like a green box. Cause right now this still looks like it's just not finished. Another idea which could actually work for the regular music uploads as well is these little icons here. I wish were like a copy link button. So like if I wanted to send somebody the music video on Apple Music alone, I could just see the music video here, click that, it would automatically copy the link and then I could just send it to them. I think it's a bit annoying, especially if you wanna make like a link tree or something that has links to all of them in a certain spot. Then you have to go to each platform, search up your profile and then like find the music video and copy the link. Right here, copying each link with just one click would be super nice. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. If you learned something, leave a like. Again, use my link at the top of the description. Shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Anyways guys, it's been your boy MMXVI and I'm out. Peace.